Today we're going to be doing this bevel effect thing. It's going to work on a text node. It's going to work on a PNG image. Just pull it in and you drag the effect on top of it. I'm going to show you how I set it up and how you can use it in your timeline. Let's get to it. Click on effects, under effects, pull in a fusion comp. Right click on it, open in fusion page. Make some space here. Let's open the media pool and open it. Then let's drag this here so we get to see this object. Let's pull in the Davish Resolve Studio logo. We'll drag this to the viewer. We see that logo. But we find out this logo, if we hover over it, you see it's 1024 by 1024. This, my resolution for this project, if I click on this cog here, the timeline resolution is 1920 by 1080. So I want to get that out here. So I'm going to bring in a background node. The background node automatically adopts the project set. If you click on the image tab, adopts the timeline resolution. So I bring in a merge node. For this background node, I click on the color tab. I drop the alpha to zero. I connect this to the background node of the of merge one. I connect this to the foreground. I will drag this to the viewer. And we have that regularized. First, shift space bar, type edge detect. Connect this to edge detect. Drag that to the viewer. So I just increase the edge width to 0 0.35. And I drop the brightness to 1. So we open shift space bar, bring in a bitmap node. Connect this to the bitmap node. Drag the bitmap to the viewer. On the channel for the bitmap, pick luminance. Then we bring in shift space bar, we bring in a displace node. Connect this to the green input of the displace node. Then connect this merge to the orange input of the displaced node. Now for this displaced node, make sure the refraction strength is zero. And then the light power, make that 50. So what we want to do now is bring in a matte control node. Connect this to the matte control. Bring in a bitmap node. Connect this to the bitmap node. Let's drag that to the viewer. See that? Then we connect this bitmap node. Right click on it and drop it on the mat control and connect it to the garbage mat. We click on the mat control. We go to, we expand garbage mat and click on invert. Drag this to the viewer. So we have the makings of what we want. So if you look at this right now, drag the, see, see the effects we're creating. But you see it's a, it's a lot. So if you go to bitmap, you can use this bitmap to now reduce the impact of the lighting. So it has, so you can use this to increase the depth of it. And guys, that's it. We're done. So if we bring in any logo now, let's say I bring in this other logo here and I connect it to this, that's uh, this. Increase the size so we get the CI looks. See, makes puts bevel. If I bring in a text plus node, I just type mad. Let's make it bold. Extra bold. There you are. Let's connect this to this merge again. Let's increase the size. See, it's beveled. You can put any input on this and you can package this as a macro. So if I select all of this, recall that it's this bitmap that I used to adjust the level. I can just right click on this, create a macro. And I go to bitmap one and this level, I just tick it and I save it. So if I save it, I provided the sample um, macro for you to use. I save it, I can use it in my timeline to create effects. Let's say I bring this in now. Let's go to titles. Let's bring in a text node. If I click on this text node, click on inspector. 
basic title is there. Let's make it extra bold. No, sorry. Extra bold. Put the timeline on there. If you now go to effects and I go to under effects, I type bevel. See bevel here. If I drag it on this, it won't work because it's not the text plus node. But to address that, you can just like and right click on this and just create a new compound click, press enter. Then I can now drag this on top of here. And then we have the bevel applied there. So I can go to effects and you can reduce the impact, increase the impact and all that. But for text plus, you can just go to titles. Because this, if I go to text plus, I drag that in there. If I now go to effects, I search for bevels. I drag that on top of there, it just works directly. So that's it guys. I've provided the effect for you. Just double click on it and install. Have fun guys. Take care. Cheers. See you on the next one. Bye.